Hello, scholars. Today we are going to start on a new math topic in module three. Today we will begin talking about volume and comparing volume. Our objective today is we can tell if a container holds more than, less than, or the same as another container. This activity today will address our California Common Core Standards um, KMD2, which we use to directly compare two objects with a measurable attribute in common. Volume can look like the amount of space something takes up, just like milk in a gallon container or a milk carton. One math word for how much something holds is capacity. When we're talking about volume and we're comparing it, we use the same words as before, more than and less than. For example, the glass on my left has more water than the glass on my right. And the glass on my right has less than the glass on the left. In today's lesson, we are going to compare the volume or the capacity of different objects to see which items have more capacity or less capacity. As I fill up this container with barley, I'm going to notice when it is full. I know it's full when pieces are no longer allowed to stay in the container without falling out. As I level this out and make it very flat, I'm going to notice that where the barley sits in my measuring cup is exactly what the capacity of this container is. Now, looking at these, what, these pieces in the back, I'm going to think, which one of these containers holds more than my measuring cup? Which one of these containers holds less than my measuring cup? and which one of these containers holds just about the same. We're going to see this as I compare how much barley each of these containers hold compared to what I have in my measuring cup. Go ahead and make a prediction. For example, I think the green container will have the same amount. I'm going to free up my white measuring cup because it will be easier to scoop up barley in this glass cup here. We can already see that the barley already looks a little different. Let's start here with the orange container. I'm going to fill it to its capacity as much as I can. I already noticed that all of that rice can't fit here in the orange container. So the orange container holds less than the measuring cup. I'm going to move these pieces off to the side and I'm going to line up all of our containers to, from what can hold the least to what can hold the most. I'm going to pour some barley here in the red container. And I notice already that not all of the barley could fit in my red container. So that means the red container holds less than my measuring cup. If I pour all of this in my measuring cup, I'll see there's still all this space on the inside. If I try to compare this orange container and see if it carries more or less, I can see it only carries a little bit in comparison to the red cup. So that means that the orange container holds less than the red container. The red container holds more. Let's do this green cup next. I'm going to pour all my barley into this cup and I notice right away all of the barley fit inside, but I still see some space around the top. That means that my green container can hold more than my white measuring cup. It could definitely hold more than the orange and red container. 
Now let's try this blue container. It looks like I'm not going to be able to scoop up all of this, so it's definitely, this blue container definitely holds less than the green container. And it definitely holds less than my measuring cup. But now I need to think, where would it fit? It has less than the green container, but what about the red container? Let's make space and see, where would it go? So I'm now going to measure this again. Actually, let's start with the, with the red one. I'm going to fill the red container to the top, and then I'm going to see, hmm, will all of this fit in the blue container? I know I'm going to make a little bit of mess here, but that's all right because all of those pieces we can pick up afterwards. Let's just scoop it out of the way. I'm going to collect these and just drop them on top of the blue container. There it is. Already though, I see that the blue container could not hold all that barley. So that means the blue container holds less than the red container. Now I'm going to work here with this yellow container. And just by looking at it, I'm going to see if I can make some comparisons. I see the red and the yellow look very similar in size, but let's go ahead and take a look at all of the sizes and compare. I wonder which one holds more, orange or yellow. By the size already, I can tell the yellow container holds more than the orange container. By placing this blue container inside the yellow container, I see that the yellow container holds more than the blue container. Now, like I mentioned earlier, red and yellow looked very similar. So I'm going to go ahead and compare these two using our barley. I'll start with the red container, sorry, the yellow container first, and let's check it out. I'm filling it with as much barley as I can to the top. And now I'm going to pour it in the red container and see, will it fill it up? or will it not be enough? Wow, just by looking at it, I see all of this space around, which shows me right away that the yellow container holds less. But now let's go ahead and fill this red container just to double check our work. I'm going to flatten it out. And now let's pour it in and see if the red container has more capacity than the yellow container. Oh my goodness, all of that barley fell out. It looks like the red container holds more than the yellow container. And there it is, scholars. In today's activities, you will be doing something very similar on Google Forms, where, we, where you will look at two items and look carefully to see if, it, if one of those items holds more or holds less. Please let us know if you have any questions. If you have a chance today, go ahead and try to compare the volume and the capacity of different cups around your house. Have a great day, scholars.